Initial, oh, I like you. Oh, honeymoon so kind of phase goes away after about like two or three months, lah. Right so in the Dawson house at some point, I'll fight there almost every single day. And I was just like, what's happening? Yeah. You, you need to let that part subside, right, so that you can use the logical, rational aspect of your brain, right, to have that open conversation. Miracle. 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 Welcome to the Miracle Family Podcast. I'm Sarah X Miracle. With me is Inez and Mark. We are on to talking about this week, what actually makes a good relationship, assuming Mm. that you have this boyfriend now, right? So like, how do we make it work? Because relationships are not just a walk in the park. I mean, you get over that kind of initial, oh, I like you. Oh, we have crushed each other. Oh, we like, you know, that honeymoon kind of phase. Yeah, that goes away after about like two or three months. The whole point is that relationships are besides being founded on common values and all that, there's a lot of conflict resolution, right, that has to happen in relationships because you are not the same person, obviously. There will be things that you disagree on. Communication is a very, very big part about making a a relationship successful. You know, something that you can imagine, okay, I can live with this person and we can figure out how to resolve conflict. So part one, conflict resolution in, in relationships, if you could put it that way. I think that for me and daddy, we used to have very different conflict resolution styles. So if there was a problem or like we had some disagreement, I would like, no, we got to talk about it right now. Like, let's discuss it like now so we can clear it and like move on in life. And daddy would be like, no, I need to go take a walk. And yes. Then go, like, walk out. There was this point in time where y'all were fighting a lot and I was just there like, yeah, and after this? that, in the Dawson house, at some point, I'll fight there almost every single day. And I was just like, what's happening? Yeah. Other parents, if you're watching, settle your arguments before you go. <laughs> no, and after that, I think like y'all were really loud one day and the neighbor was like, can y'all shut up or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Very we long fight ago. so much when we were staying together with grandma and grandpa that like grandma and grandpa you would like come to our room to intervene in our arguments because we were so loud talking and arguing. Yeah, and then daddy would always like, I need to take a walk. Then he'll go take a walk for like half an hour and then he'll come back and then mommy would just sit there like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be like, Andy. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you want to tell them why you walked away? I mean, I think it's because daddy needs time to calm down. Yeah, everybody has their own sort of style of conflict resolution, right? I, I, I don't know, I need space, right? I can't immediately process stuff just like that. I need time to also talk to myself, right? Reason with myself, so yes, in the beginning it took mommy and daddy, I think a good I think our first seven. Like, ten plus years <laughs> was super like yeah, stormy man. Tumultuous. Yeah, super. Because we both get angry very fast. I oh dear. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> our daughter is like these And parents. somehow our daughter is amazing chill. and chill. <laughs> no, Hallelujah. I get angry very easily. I just internalize. Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh no, it's okay. not good. So how did you feel when I was demanding resolution? Threatened because threatened. I'm not okay. like willing, I'm not ready or not able or not willing, one of the three probably, or all, all three at once to engage with you on this topic, right? Like I know we need to sort it out, but like I need to overcome the rage part of the emotion, right? To begin to mm. let that subside, go kick a tree, go and make noise. I don't know. You know oh, call mother, call you father. Kick you know, tree, yeah. No, 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 I don't kick trees. What I'm saying is you you need to let that part subside, right? So that you can use the logical, rational aspect of your brain, right? To have that open conversation. So what you said was very hurtful. Or I didn't like the way that you said that. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, and you're genuinely sorry. You're not like, sorry. (laughs) Right? You know, like the, the angry part of you, you haven't let that subside, right? So you need to be calm in order to have a conversation. And I wasn't calm. And mommy's Kill. like, we need to talk now. I'm, no, like, the, I'm not calm. But the problem, what, what I felt of how you made me feel when you walked away was that, which not, I could not articulate, by the way, until like, you know, much later, no. was that I would feel abandoned. And actually, I would have a lot of fear because daddy would say and threaten certain things. Like, I'm going to jump off the building. I'm going to walk out. The, yeah, he would say Sir, that. Yeah, he would say this. Exactly, he was. What say, are you doing, exactly. my friend? So I would feel like super scared. Actually, I would feel this actually really abandoned. Past, hello. Yeah, but I'm. But I would bring healed. it up, like I'm honestly, whole. because for me it was very scary. I'm like, what, you know? And like, so like, when are you coming back? And then like, he just walked. I don't know where he would go. Like, he walked out of the house, and I'm like, 
where did he go? And then calls and then reply, text and then reply, blah, 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 blah. So it's like, it becomes from a point of like, okay, one issue, then it comes to like, is he literally going to leave me forever? It's a real fear. And I think nobody wants to feel abandoned, right? So while he's feeling threatened, like I was there feeling abandoned. For us to now come to this point mm. where we understand each other's fears in that sense, right? It's, so you know, two we're two years to our twentieth anniversary. It's taken yes. a while. It's taken us we can a long talk time. Talk about it calmly in a podcast. Wow. <laughs> the point is that it took us a lot of time to figure out that. I mean, read other books, talk to other couples, you know. And I hope that. <laughs> You know, since that you have the benefit of us being your parents and the experience that, you know, we can all help each other or help mm. you in the future to have healthier relationships and healthier conflict resolution because it doesn't really help if you don't understand what the other person's conflict resolution is. In fact, you need to understand your own style first. If I was mature enough at that point, I'd be like, I know we're both upset right now and I actually want to hear back from you. So if you need some space, like tell me when are we going to talk about it so that we can agree we'll talk about it at this time. So that then at least I know that like, he's coming back lah, right? Then daddy, how would you have expressed your need to me? It's like, I need some time to process. I need some time to calm down. I will come back to reassure you, right? And, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah, but all this was not very easy for us to do that in the past. In no, fact. to be fair, right? We were very young and then we also were, we didn't necessarily have a home or space of our own, right? So you you are sort of, we were living with mommy's parents for a long time. Thank you, grandpa and grandma for hosting us and always providing. That adds, I think, to the rub, right, of it. And so after a while, all the friction starts to build up and then all you need is one trigger point. And there were many trigger points. You know, be patient with each other, be, you know, something that we used to try and do is like, don't let the sun go down in your anger, right? Don't go to sleep angry. You, you need to agree that, okay, you've moved, you've moved past the incident, you stopped being upset at each other. Yeah. And for me, that usually means that daddy has to give me a hug. But he yeah, doesn't no. always. What? Sometimes I have to be the one to go and find him. Yeah. Daddy, you need to take more initiative. Because I haven't, what? I haven't oh. come down yet, right? Well, sometimes you, 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 you don't come down and just fall asleep. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. And you will also need time to work it out, right? Like, I think that's part of why people, you know, don't get married immediately, right? Because you need time to get to know the person. You need the time to know that you've overcome certain sort of challenges in that relationship to the point that you know that, okay, this is someone who I believe will stick with me through challenging times and we can envision uh, not just you can see a future with him or he can see a future with you, but that both of you can see a future with each other. When I get angry, I don't know, I get over it quite fast, usually. Like, I just need to rent to somebody and I'm like kind of fine. Okay. It's just a lot of effort to keep on being angry, you know? Usually, I'll get mad, but like my brain will just work it out on its own and now stop being angry. So you know what's the risk of that? The risk is that if you're in a relationship where someone is like more confrontational than you because you're the more chill one, right? <laughs> Because that person is likely to maybe have a different style from you. The person mm. may be like, do you even care? How come I'm so angry about the thing? And then like, you're just like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, you I know, was like, angry just now. You don't. You want, you, see what, you want me angry now. Is it how I get angry now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you if you were angry at the person? Then how would you express that? Do it directly to the person and not ranting to a friend. I just ignore that. Oh dear, that's not good. Mm. She's the no. avoidant type. Help. Yes. <gasps> no, it's like, Okay, with that same friend, when I'm angry at them, I'll just ignore them for like half a day. Like, I won't reply to their messages. Assuming this is your boyfriend, I'll just and ghost he's them. With you, yeah, you can't ignore upset with the boyfriend. I can't know that him, obviously right? I'll. Well, but the point I'll is that if, like, if, even in your friendships, if you don't I'm even articulate, you. but you rather bottle it up or you ignore it or rent to somebody else instead of telling the person directly, then maybe there's something that you need to work on because you need to articulate, like, if you are upset with somebody, like, ways of. Explaining to the person, like, you know, whatever you did or whatever you said was, like, something Actually, that I bothered mean, me. I mean, I know, but, like, if it's not that big of, a of, of like, a thing, if it's, like, a small thing, then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, if like, it's a small thing, then yeah. What if it's a very big thing? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you an example, right? So you invited them over, they, they had a sleepover, and then they stole something from you. 
when you, for whatever reason, right? Or they took something that was very important to you and you found out and you were obviously very upset, right? Because it's like your, it's a very precious thing. Mm. You can't Girl, be like, if okay, you I'm going to ignore them. I don't think we're friends anymore. La. Maybe something like you told your friend something in confidence and then the person like just blurted it out to somebody else, for example, right? I mean, I'm sure yeah, how, how, how do you tell them? Yeah, then how do you tell them? Okay, first I'll ask, I'll ask another friend for advice. I'll be like, should I go confront them? And then they'll be like, yes. And they'll be like, okay. And now I'll go breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Pray to Jesus. Be like, Jesus, help me. Now I'll call the person and be like, I'm a bit mad at you <laughs> because this, 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 this. And then, and then yeah, let's just see how it goes from the... You're yeah, hesitant just... to express the fullness of of your emotion, right? So yeah. if you are hesitant to express the fullness of your emotion, you know, since I uh, I, I kind of I kind of like you, I like you lah. Just say lah. What's so difficult? I mean, yeah, I think I mean, that his point is that if you really were upset, you do, should not need to downplay it, but express it in a way that... Yes, yeah, and express sense. it in a way that is so true to So let's say if it's the yourself. boyfriend now, the boyfriend who actually misplaced some trust and he said something to somebody else that you told him in confidence or whatever it is, right? And for whatever reason, you are not happy about that. Then you have to be able to say like, you know, this thing that you did actually really bothered me. Mm. And because of that, I am quite upset and I wish that it didn't happen. But I need to let you know how I feel because I don't want this negative feeling towards you to come between us. And then if he's any good, he would know how to apologize. Or he doesn't know how to apologize, he better watch his podcast. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's the same thing. So let's say if you were the one in the wrong, because it's not always you're the one who's right, right? Let's say you were the one in the wrong. And let's say your friend or your boyfriend says that to you and said like, hey, you know this thing that you did was like really not nice or like what well, made me upset or like I'm not happy about it, whatever it is. I'm really sorry that I did that. And like, I understand how you feel and I'm really sorry that it bothered you. I'll make sure not to do it again. It's uh, this, uh, I don't know, is it four languages of apologies? Can I do anything to like, make you feel better? Yeah, so one, you have to own up that yes, you made a mistake. Take responsibility. Number two, actually verbalise that you're sorry, right? Three, offer to do something to make up for it. And then four, yes, like say that I, I, I will take note of this not to do this again. So like there are a few key elements of an apology that you know, different people accept different parts of the apology. So I think even like... So it's a kiasu thing that you try... Correct. Oh. No, you must say. Because even when daddy writes, if daddy just say sorry, daddy say sorry what? Sorry for what? <laughs> sorry means what? It's not just like, yes, I own up to it and fess up, but the actual person actually wants to make some restitution. Amends. Yeah, make some amends. And Service recovery. <laughs> yeah. And if you say, I won't do it again, but then you keep apologizing for the thing, then I'll be like, but you just did it again. <laughs> so stop it. I mean, if the person is serious about saying sorry, then I'd be like, okay, what are you going to do to make sure that it doesn't happen again, right? I mean, if it's some kind of like chronic bad habit or chronic thing that is upsetting you, you know, and sometimes we need to seek help from other people because we can't see ourselves where right? we have our own blind spots over what is good and what is not good about ourselves. So we have a better chance of like succeeding as a, as a couple, you know? So we have come to the conclusion for now of healthy relationships part one because we talked about conflict resolution in a small way but there are other aspects besides conflict resolution to build a healthy relationship you know with your partner and we will talk more about that in the next episode also if you have questions that we never really went through and you have a burning question and you love us to kind of discuss that you we're opening up the comment. floor guys all right uh -huh. so, yeah. and if you like this podcast we would love for you to share this and subscribe give us a rating so that more people can figure out more about their life and relationships thanks so much for being part of our episode so far and we'll see you next time on the miracle family podcast and then the neighbor was like can you shut up or something the and they were like Shush. i don't know like i remember someone just was like I don't know, someone came down. I don't know, I was in my room, but I heard y'all momentarily stop and I heard another person's voice. I'm like, shh, shh. I don't know, I'm 